everyone, so today I'm just going to do a quick review for you of uh, the Yves Saint Laurent lipsticks that I have. Uh, I bought quite a few since I've last done lipstick review videos, so I thought I would do all the Yves Saint Laurent lipsticks in one review. Uh, but before I get on to anything, I'll probably just explain my hair, which <laughs> is obviously a wig. Um, for whatever reason, I'm going through a huge wig phase at the moment, and I've been wearing all different colours of zany wigs. Uh, out, which is pretty crazy for even me, but I'm really enjoying the variety. So I've been wearing Platinum Blonde Marilyn Monroe style wigs, and I've been wearing short black bobs and long black Dita Monte style hair, and just all sorts. So that's explaining my hair. I haven't actually changed it, it's still red. And before I start the review as well, I thought I'd show you something really cool which I bought today. Um, I have a new makeup mirror. I bought this from a little vintage store today and it's really cool. Like I like it a bit more than my other one just because it has that kind of old fashioned look about it and it does have the two different magnifications. And the really cool thing about this mirror is that it's actually got a switch down the bottom here and you can change the lighting depending on like where you're going. So you can have daytime light. Then you can move it on to, this is like, it says office, so I guess indoors. Then there's like home light. So, again, um, depends. So, basically, if you're doing kind of a daytime look, you can see how heavy it's going to look. And then you've got the evening light, which is a bit darker. So, you can see how dramatic your makeup's going to look. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And... It's really bulky and heavy, but I don't know. I thought it was really fun. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with my other makeup mirror. It's by the brand General Electric. Uh, so maybe if you jump on eBay, you might be able to find something similar because it's just a really, it's really good that it has those different switches. Uh, anyway, I'm going to just get on to the reviews. I've probably already mentioned in other videos that I love Yves Saint Laurent lipsticks. I have to say now they're probably my favourite lipsticks. Uh, I love everything about them. There's the kind of image, the um, prestigiousness of Yves Saint Laurent which is always nice. The packaging is of course is amazing and deluxe and probably the nicest lipstick packaging I've ever found. It's classy and it's really unusual. And the colours, they're just really bright colours. They do such a great range of colours that you wouldn't really expect from a high-end brand. Like, I was quite surprised by some of the colours. Uh, but, yeah, they do some really out there colours, which I love. And also just the the actual quality of the lipstick, the consistency of the product is really good. So, even though they're $50, $55 each in Australia, I really do love these lipsticks. I think that they're a great purchase and they're something that is worth spending the money on. So I'll just go into what ones I have. I'll start with the one I have on, which is very similar to Max Saint Germain. And that's just this one here. It's just the uh, Rouge Pure uh, lipstick in 22. And so that's just that one there. And yeah, I really like this formulation. It's a little bit more pearly than the um, MAC Saint Germain, which is quite nice. And also the consistency is a little bit, it's a little bit sheerer. Uh, but this is a really nice lipstick, so I really like that one. Uh, by the same kind of collection, because they do about maybe seven or eight different types of lipsticks, uh, from the same collection is this one. and. This is a new one I've just bought, which is colour number 49, which is called Tropical Pink. It's really just bright and fun, and this is the most neon pink you'll ever find. It's not for the faint-hearted. Uh, that's that there. It's really bright. I'll just swatch it on my hand. Uh, yeah, I found this lipstick. I don't know why I didn't even notice it before, but uh, I bought it a couple of weeks ago, and yeah, I love the colour. It's so so bright. This is a really sheer one which I've mentioned in my videos before. It's Rouge Pure Shine and it's just in colour 11 which is called Pink Diamond and that's just that one there. The great thing about it is even though it's really sheer it's really glittery and shimmery so it's actually quite fun. Um, 
it's just that one there so you can kind of see but yeah so I'm having a big pink thing at the moment you probably noticed uh, it's a little bit overboard uh, okay moving on these are two I mentioned before and this is probably my favorite Yves Saint Laurent packaging of all time this is my favorite lipstick packaging of all time these lipsticks are amazing. Uh, this is color 7, which is lingerie pink. And that's that one there. It's another baby pink. Uh, this consistency is quite different than the normal lipsticks. It's a really, really creamy, almost similar to putting a lip gloss on your lips. But it's got the opacity of a, of a lipstick. Packaging, amazing. Like, you can't go past that. And also another cool little thing I like about this one is it has a tiny little mirror on the top, which is great for reapplying. Because you'll want to apply this lipstick in public because it's something to show off. And the other one that I have is just this one here, uh, Colour 17, which is called Red Muse. And again, it's the same consistency. Bright colour payoff. I think when they first brought these ones out, they weren't sure if they were going to make it part of the permanent line or not. But I think they're keeping them for... For definite now which is great and they're always bringing out heaps of new colors in these ones which is really cool they've just brought out a new uh, set of colors a couple of months maybe about a month ago these are ones that I got in a set but usually you buy them separately they're called lip twins and these ones are a bit different because they actually come with two lipsticks in one and this is really nifty packaging as well I have to say this is probably ties with the other one so this one that I have here is color 6, which is Pink Harmony. What you do is you turn it and you've got two different colors in there. And one of them is a lipstick, which is quite opaque. And the other one is a shimmery sheer kind of color that you can put over the top or you can wear it on its own. You can kind of just mix and whatever. And you're probably thinking, okay, how do I get the lipstick out of there? Do I have to carry a brush around? Awesome. It's so cool. There's a little tiny brush kept in the middle. So yeah, this is just a real show, show stopping piece in my opinion. Uh, so I'll just show you the colors. So that's those two there. You probably can't see very well, but one of them is quite opaque and the other one is quite sheer. Okay, so that's the first one that I have of that. And the second one that I have is colour 4, which is Carmine Beige. And same thing, except this one has a neutral nude shade and a red shade, which is very kind of 50s. The nude one's just on top and then the red one's underneath. So that's those ones. And I also have an Yves Saint Laurent lip gloss. And these are the golden glosses. This is a really cool thing as well. The golden glosses actually have real gold dust in them, which is pretty cool Like to tell someone that your lip gloss has real gold in it. And this is just a nice hot pink one with the, with the gold glitter in it. That's just that one underneath. I'm not usually a big lip gloss person, but I do like the golden glosses. The last thing I wanted to show you which I haven't had a chance to buy any of them yet, but if I do, I will review them or put them on my blog. Uh, I saw this in the newest issue of Vogue, and that is the Rouge Pure Couture Lipsticks by Yves Saint Laurent. And these haven't come out in Australia yet, I don't think, because I keep going into Mecca Cosmetica and David Jones and Maya and everything, trying to see if they're there, but they're never there. So hopefully they're going to be coming soon. And... The really cool thing about these ones are, I think these are a limited edition for Christmas time, there's a white one, a black one, and a red one. So you can use the white one over the top of a lipstick to lighten it a bit. You can use the black one to darken a shade, and then there's just the red. I'd say that those white and black ones would be quite sheer, because the idea is just to mix them with other colours. So keep an eye out for the Rouge Pure Couture, which are the newest lipsticks coming out from Yves Saint Laurent. That's all I had to tell you today, so I do recommend checking out all the Yves Saint Laurent lipsticks. Jump on the Yves Saint Laurent website because they're all on there. You can have a look at all the colours and yeah, that's all I have to say for now and I'll speak to you guys soon.